Yo, so ladies and gents, ladies and gents, welcome back to another YouTube video. I hope everybody's doing good. How are you doing well? Uh, I have not been covering a lot of Dragon Ball content. Well, I actually have, but not too much because I've been playing a lot of Black Myth Wukong, if you guys haven't know, and playing with the Goku mod that they have in there. So still doing Dragon Ball stuff. But right now we got an interview with Dragon Ball uh, Sparky Zero Reviving. A fan favorite series, June for I think it's a newer interview. So this is posted two hours ago by the gamer. Um, and we're going to hit subscribe. Go ahead and support this person for posting and giving us this information. So when we get into this, uh, I'm not again, I'm not gonna, you know, I don't go through the whole thing, but we get the gist of what's going on. So let's go here with the first part of what he has to say. Foster, lead news editor for the gamer. I'm here with Jennifer Itani, the producer of Dragon Ball Spark and Zero. <laughs> So Game nice to meet you. Right. How are you doing? Right. Some people don't know that. Um, so the fans have been asking for Dragon Ball Budokai Tenkaichi to come back for such a long time. Like, what was it that made you decide it was time to come back? That's the interesting, interesting question. I do want to know. I do want to know that too. Yeah. そうですね、あの、ま、ブドウ回転化シリーズ、ブドウ回転化シリーズ3という作品が前作にあたってるんですけれども、我々の考えでは、ブドウ回転化シリーズより、ラスケンドウズリリースフォー、ました。そう、え
I think he's talking about um, capsules right here. Season pass in it, like the deluxe edition, but also additional content. Mm. There will be already some items included that will change the status, but also within the game, there's the possibility to unlock um, items that will add status to the characters. Nice. Uh, one of my things. Okay. Okay. So that was a little bit about the capsules, I guess. Um, ま、紹介させていただいてるゲームモードに関してはちょっと今、あの、お伝えすることがちょっと難しいので、続報お待ちいただければと思っています。Okay, あの、なので強い、ただですね、あの、なので強い、ただですね、あの、なので強い、ただですね、あの、なので強い、ただですね、あの、なので強い、ただですね、あの、なので強い、ただですね、あの、なので強い、ただですね、あの、なので強い、
So one of my favourite things with Dragon Ball in general are the what if battles. Mm -hmm. I love them. They've always been a what highlight if? of the games. I got what if videos coming for y'all. Don't worry. I've seen already some examples like Goku turning into a Super Saiyan against Vegeta instead of doing it on Planet Namek. But what's the wildest you've gone, or can't you say yet? Sorry, you gotta skip over Custom to Custom battles. So it's not what they put in the game, but this time we enable the players to create their own what if battles. Mm. So you can set a scenery, like an, an entry before the fight, you can set up the fight with rules and, and, and uh, setups and who fights whom. And Is this like in story set though? The scenery after, like, you know, for example, you can set up one scene when player one wins and one scene when the other character wins, for example. So. Um, Regarding your question of, you know, how crazy can it get, it's in the player's hand, and uh, so... the er, er, dangerous. <laughs> yeah, every, every custom battle that you can create, you can also upload mm. online, wow. and then, of course, you can download I would, bro, creations of bro, players. Guy, and I would, bro, guy, I gotta create a community or, like, create a segment where I showcase custom battles that I try some, in some way. Like, I would love to try all you guys' custom battles. And play it. Custom battle is not a game. I mean, he will be very happy if it happens like that, but um, the real intention of this mode or the real intention of the whole game is to enable the players to experience the characters and as much as possible and as good as possible. And this led to the custom battle mode because we wanted them, of course, to give them the experience to you know, become the character in a setting that they dreamt up of. You know, like yeah, so. So I think a that's lot of very. And it's, it's, it's very. This is a very love letterish type game. It's a very. It's a fan. It's very fan, fan bloated. It's not a bad thing. I think there's there's need for some of those games or some of those types of content, like where the game is just full of love from the, f because of the fans. Like what we love. Like what ifs. Like hey, we don't. We don't. We're not sure what you guys want to create. But here, create it yourself. Like, do whatever you want. Upload it online. Make it a thing. Like, it, it, they're just they're turning it up. And All right, let's like get to the last part. I know some of you already said this. Let's get to the last part. There's the last part. Feels to, to be in a certain... We're probably sick of hearing about it, but... <laughs> OG Dragon Ball and GT characters, is that a possibility for the future? I know, I'm, I'm sure you can't announce now, but... Is it in... You know, is it a talking point, maybe? The last <laughs> I want to see his face like what he says. I want to see his face like what he says. I want to see his face like what he says. I want to see his face like what he says. I want to see his face like what he says. I want to see his face like what he says. I want to see his face like what he says. I want to see his face like what he says. I want to see his face like what he says. I think is, the thing is, look at, okay, I just, hey, we can, we can cope. We're a month out. What was today? It's, I mean, almost a month. Let's cope for a little bit. I just think body language is key here. I'm not saying it's coming. I'm just, listen. I'm just saying. He looks excited. Like, he looks like he wants to say something about it, but he can't. So the fact that they're, they're so secretive could possibly mean that it's on the way. Maybe not in the form that we want. So, again, the argument for everybody is... There's three sets. Is is it coming at all? Is it coming uh, in base game or is it coming with DLC? I think it's coming just with DLC. Some people, there's people that think that it's not gonna be there at all, which is crazy. That's stupid. Then there's the, the middle half who thinks like it's coming in base game. But I don't know, they haven't said anything about it. But said, but what's your name? Uh, Sean, was it Sean? He said something about recording lines for Goku Super Saiyan 4. So, it has to be in it. So, the ones that are saying that it's not going to be in there, you're already debunked. We have two options here. DLC or base game. I don't know. We don't know. If you guys enjoyed this, I uh, mean, breaking down this interview, kind of just going through it, showing you guys the more important bits of things that were uh, covered in this interview. The person here is the gamer. Uh, 1.7 million subscribers. <laughs> Go ahead and give him more if you want. And uh, we got, what you call it, um... The interviewer here and all that good stuff. I'll leave the link in the description below. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm about to say the interviewer. He knows. He knows what we want. He's listening to the fans. 
That last question, he said it for last. He made sure to give him a good questions and then save him last. He still can't say anything. The fact that they're big is so secretive, though. Make <laughs> Sorry, guys. Makes me personally think that, that it, it could be coming. But leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you're new. And we're going to get on some more Sparky Duo content. Peace.